It is very cold this morning. So we're making beet pulp for the girls. It's sweet and they like it and it is high in fiber and healthy. And because, is it because they're ruminants that it helps them stay warm? Or is it just because they're animals? It's because they're animals, but I think in addition, um, Really what it is, is the bee pulp digestion process. Right. It creates extra heat in their stomachs that they'll use to keep warm when it's 14 degrees out like it is today. So my question was, if I ate a bunch of beet pulp, would that help me stay warm? Uh, a little bit, but not to the same extent because the ruminants will digest it for longer and produce heat for longer. Awesome. Hi, girls. Hi, Moira. Theodora. Theodora is still a little not sure about me, I think. Hi, baby. Firecracker. There's little Clementine. Hi, little Clementine. What do you think about that? <laughs> Bad dog. No, she's a good dog, but she's very barky. She scared the girls. All right. Here we got some beet pulp pellets. <clears throat> Yummy. Yeah. Um, we mix this uh, with the using a two to one ratio of water to beet pulp. Let it sit for 15 minutes to half an hour to soften up. You don't want to give the animals super hard pellets. Uh, they won't be able to chew them, they'll just fall in the hole. So once it's softened, it'll be like mush, and then we'll feed it to them so it can help keep them warm. Awesome. Time, how are you? You doing all right? Moira? Moira? <laughs> Good morning, Theodore. Good morning, how are you? See, she's much more comfortable with you than me. It's good to see you. I wonder what I did to make her kind of mad. I hope you're doing mad. okay. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> she's like, not that lady, I'm gonna spit on her. Hi, Firecracker. Hi, you sweet lady. Yummy beet pulp. Doesn't that look appetizing? Yeah, it's starting to soften up. Shout out to my mom who hates beets. Meanwhile, this chickadee is sleeping through the night like such a big girl. Meanwhile, this chickadee is sleeping through the night. Carrot's our big girl, and she's always down for a snack so as soon as Julio started moving around feeders she was very interested we have to kind of keep an eye that she isn't um, shouldering out some of her herd mates particularly little Clementine back there who's only a year old and weighs like almost half what Moira weighs Looks kind of like uh, oatmeal texture. Yeah, all the water's been absorbed. All right. So now it's nice and mushy so the kids can eat it. All right. All right, kids. Here we go. Treat time. Here you go. Ooh. Order up. You like some beet pulp? Moira does. Smell good? Smell good? Here. Right here. Right there. <laughs> there you go. The bucket scare you? Oh, Moira. Let Firecracker have some. Firecracker? 
Oh, here comes Clementine. Moira. Hi, pretty baby. Moira, goodness. Hey, don't spit at me. I didn't do it. Theodora? Theodora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, door was left oh, ajar. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Meanwhile, Moira is perfectly content to eat everyone's beet pulp. this behavior with the necks crossed they're watching each other's back so they heard something that they didn't know what it was or they didn't enjoy but i'm going to go up and check on the baby and let the girls enjoy their beet pulp